Bell's Amusement Park search for a new home. One of our viewers, Daniel from Tulsa, emailed us wanting to know. I just kind of wondered if they ever have any kind of plans on reopening and where and if. You'd like to see them reopen? Definitely. Well, Daniel, we went searching for answers to that good question. It's been nearly three years since the Tulsa tradition was booted from the fairgrounds. Since then, Zingo and the other rides have been in storage as the Bell family right. looks for a new location. For Tulsa and Daniel McCarthy, that's too long. I just want to hear something definitive, and I know with the economy that it's challenging, but I'm sure it can be done. I mean, Robbie Bell says finding a new home has been a tough task. It's just a matter of getting the money to get us relocated. The Bells say they've found four different possible locations. Robbie Bell won't say where, but they're in the Tulsa area and have good highway access. The problem is coming up with what essentially amounts to startup money for the park that was around for more than half a century. If we were to put up a full-blown park, let's say a park the same size as Bell's was, we would have to pay about four and a half to five million dollars for the infrastructure that the fairgrounds destroyed when they kicked us off. Bell hopes to attract private investors or to get municipalities to help. We've got a great deal. You know, we'd make investors good money. At this point, the owners say they don't know how soon a new home can be found and how much longer Zingo and the other rides will be in storage. Daniel McCarthy hopes it isn't much longer. And I don't like to have to drive to Arlington or to Frontier City. It would be so nice to have something here, especially with Bell's tradition, Bell. So. Now remember, if you have a good question, you can submit it on our website.